In order to do this properly, you need to do this properly. Raise your vibration. How, how, how? First, we must work on the mind. Now we can call it raising your vibration or we can call it changing your mental state, changing your neurological pathways. But in some way, shape or form, we gotta get this sucker on board. Next is our emotions. Our emotions are literally the precursors to consciousness. They help us direct our energy, therefore directing our manifestation abilities. But most often this is random chaos. We're not able to get curious about it and neutral. So we can't magically manifest anything we want. Last is our energy, the conversation that we are having with the universe that we're not aware of. This also happens to the subconscious mind, but ultimately this is all about vibes. I'm going to show you seven different pathways that help you raise your vibration so that you can get here. First and foremost is expansion. Expansion is all about embracing growth beyond your perceived limitations. There is actually a version of you that you have not expanded into yet that has whatever it is that you desire, that has the ability to serve the world, to have incredible love, to have money, whatever it is. It is an expansion issue when you are not manifesting what you want. It is an expansion issue when you live in a lower vibration. Next is self-knowledge. Y'all know I love self-mastery. This is about deepening the understanding of yourself so that you can live authentically. Self-mastery is one of the greatest ways to get here. Next pathway is empathy. Now, why would this be a part of raising our vibration? Empathy is about cultivating compassion for ourselves and for others. When we stop living in shame, guilt, or blame, we allow for ourselves to drastically raise our vibration. And onward we go to clarity. Clarity is all about gaining a clear vision of our goals and our desires. We gotta know where we're going. At minimum, in our journey to getting to a higher vibration, us having clarity on what it is that we're actually working towards, where we're trying to go, vital. Now moving towards coherence. And coherence is all about harmonizing the heart the mind, the spirit, basically the mind, emotions, and energy, what we were just talking about. We need all of them on board to have the most incredible manifestations possible because without this, we are sending energy out into multiple different areas of the universe. It's just not gonna work. Now, it wouldn't be manifestation by me if it wasn't transmutation. This is about doing the work, taking all of this density and bringing it into something that is higher. We're taking what is dark into light, whatever is heavy in your life, in your human story, and pushing it towards the divine. This is about transforming your challenges into opportunities of growth. Because if you know anything about the way that I manifest, you have already set a manifestation in motion, but what shows up in between is what deciphers the outcome of the manifestation. If it is heavy, if it is dense, if you think that everything that's showing up is there to sabotage you, even if it seems like it's something dense, we have to turn that density into something light. And when we do that, we always get where we're trying to go. Leading us to our last pathway, which is co-creation. Now, co-creation is about collaborating with the universe, with your higher power with God, whatever it is that you call it, and manifesting your destiny. Now we've reached this point that we call it destiny because ultimately I believe that when we are all operating our own authenticity and we have embraced all of these other magical pathways, we are naturally co-creating. Magic is just coming to us. It's instantaneous, it's transformative, it's beautiful because we're doing the work, we're making it happen, we're allowing for ourselves to heal and grow and instead of living in our human story, we're living in the divine. If you'd like to know more on how to embrace the seven pathways, to raise your vibration, to embrace your divine soul self and step out of the human story, snag a copy of this book, The Promise.